Good evening and welcome, London Scotty Club Zoom, coming to you in a bed sit near you. Right, I'm George, and we've got a number of members already in the uh, in the box here in the window, and we're going to do a little competition today. Uh, for those who don't know, it's because yesterday we were in Brighton and then on to the National Trust uh, estate of Batemans, which was, of course, the home of Rudyard Kipling, a one-time owner of Scottish Terriers, and quite a few as well. Um, you'll see lots of photos about that on, uh, on our website. We're going to be publishing something tonight, um, so you'll be able to see what actually went on down there, but it was a lot of fun. So today, uh, what we're left with is a couple of prizes. One was donated by the National Trust. So I want to, first of all, say a big thank you to the National Trust and for uh, particularly Gary, who's the estate manager, who gave us a, a great talk about uh, the, the, the world of Scottish Terriers, uh, according to Rudyard Kipling. Um, I think it was a very entertaining talk. And he kindly also donated this book. I hope you can see that. I can't see myself, actually. Let me just do something so I can see myself. There we are. Right, can you see the book? No, you can't, it's all gone invisible, hasn't it? Okay, that's probably <laughs> because of my wallpaper. So forgive me, I'm going to get rid of the wallpaper, I think, if I can get rid of it. Uh, where is it? Video settings. Okay, so we'll switch that off. I didn't know this was gonna be a problem, but it clearly is. Okay, so let's just get rid of that if we can. If we can't, we can't. Okay, right, well, I can't, okay, <laughs> this is not great. Okay, so with the wallpaper, unfortunately, uh, anything except my face has disappeared. Uh, but I'm, I'm holding a paperback book. It's uh, from the Wordsworth Classic series. It's The Best Short Stories by Rudyard Kipling. It's a nice paperback, around about uh, 195 pages long. Uh, looks like a really good little read, uh, nicely illustrated on the front as well. Not a Scottish Terrier, however. Um, so this book is donated by the National Trust for this as, a, as one of the prizes. The other prize, which you're going to have to, um, you know, again, you're not really going to be able to see, is maybe you will see a bit of it. Can you see that? Something, yeah, that is a Scottish Terrier chalkboard, right? Comes with a nice little rope so you can hang it up. That's quite handy like that. And then uh, you won't be able to see, it, but it's got a lovely white uh, bow uh, on it and, and a little uh, place where you can keep your chalk, a um, little tray at the bottom there. And that's the silhouette of a black Scottish Terrier. And it comes complete with, although you probably won't be able to see this either. Uh, there they are. You can see those. Those are chalks. One of them got broken in transit, unfortunately. And when we send this off, so will the other one, I'm sure. OK, so those are the prizes. And what have you got to do to win? So. Depends on whether we get a tie or not. If we get a tie, um, we will uh, offer the, the prizes. The book will go um, and, and, and the chalkboard to, to one of each of the winners. Um, if, however, there is a knockout uh, winner, then that person will be basically winner takes all. We'll take both of these prizes home. All right. At the end of this little program. So what are you going to do is I'm going to give you a three words which you're going to put together all right and if you've got a pen and pad handy this will be a good a good time to to get one wave if you're panicking uh but if you've got a pen and pad or at least a word document on your screen where you can write away then this is a good time to bring those tools to bear and um just wave your hand if you've got a problem looks like uh, fraser's got a problem okay fraser over to you That unmuted you. I'm just saying that I'm not taking part because I know uh, what the quiz is. I'm just uh, here to right. well, make sure that it makes sure that, so it's between four, so it's, so it's, an, so it's all to win. It's all to I win, can, right? So you're here. I know what it make is. Sure that I'm following I can teach. the rules. <laughs> okay, fab fabulous. Thank you, Fraser. That's very kind of you. Okay, to declare that. Okay, good. So it's just down to the rest of you. So that makes the stakes even hotter. Okay, so here's what you need to know. I'm going to show it on the piece of paper, but you won't be able to see it. Oh, you might be able to see it, actually. So dark here. Okay, it is the Scottish Terriers. Okay, plural, the Scottish Terriers. Now, what's key here is I want you to come up with the longest possible word that is a real word out of those letters, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of time 
uh, just to think that through, to write it down. First of all, just scroll it down because this is obviously hit, hitting you cold. And then you'll get 30 seconds to come up with your longest answer. And those who've got, yeah, and those who've got uh, the benefit of partners there uh, can have double the brain power. So you'll have 30 seconds when I, uh, when I, when you'll hear a certain jingle, but in between now and that jingle, you might as well start already composing. You, we'll give you this time the Scottish Terriers. Okay, those are the three golden words, the longest word that you can come up with from that motley crew of wonderful words. Okay, so without any further ado, um, we're going to get 30 seconds starting from now. So Fraser, how have you been? How do you know the question? Wonderful that, I love that. Okay, um, so let's see how you did. It looks like there's a bit of exasperation there from Kirsten. Um, wave your hands if you think you have compiled a word out of those three words. So wave your hand. Okay, we've got some. Okay, two. It looks like two of you have, have done. Uh, Kate, I think might still be working on hers. Okay, I'm now gonna unmute all of you. Um, but say nothing until I invite you to speak. All right, so let's just get everybody <laughs> unmuted first of all. It was my idea, Chris, and that's how I knew the answer. Or that I knew what was gonna happen. Right, and before you uh, answer, I can tell you that the longest word that I was able to come up with, uh, I've been reliably told this is the correct word. Oops, I don't have to do this properly. Um, I won't say what the word is, obviously, but uh, <laughs> it is possible. How many letters, though? 12 letters. Ooh. It is possible yeah. to get a word out of 12 letters wow. of those 19 characters that you had. So 19. The there were loads of German word words. I could come up with was 12. German? Lo there are loads of German words. Right, we're not yeah, doing but we it, are but... talking about English words here. Yes. Yeah, so um, b before we ask people to say what they've got, um, Fraser, I, you already had a head start because you had a look at this. What, what, what was the longest, don't say what the word is, but just what were, how many characters did you I'm just going to go get my phone because I did it on that, hold on. Okay, he's got to get, right, let's, this is more suspense. All right, folks. I came suspense. up, it was, hold on. Yeah, don't say what the... it was, just count them. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> I've got to find them. the, I've got to find the right WhatsApp group because I texted to you, didn't I? Um, the um, la, la, la. Here we go. Um, put the I countdown the uh, clock on again. One, one, two, um, oh, boy. some more 13. I got 13. Come on. 13. No way. 13. I'm, I, that's 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. My exclamation mark doesn't count. 12. I got 12. Yeah, no, exclamation marks do not count because they're not part of the no. Scottish Terriers. Okay. So in that case, um, before you answer with your word, everybody, uh, let's start with Ursula, perhaps. Um, how many characters do you think you've managed to swing? So, so con depressingly, considering Scottish and Terriers are eight letters, we came up with seven, because we assumed <laughs> Scottish and Terriers would be a no-go. Uh, hmm. <laughs> right. right. Scottish. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, um, Kate, how did you do? Badly, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Sectors. Okay. Oh, do I have to say the word? No. Oh. Okay, Glyn. Yeah. We got eight. 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 Whoa. 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 <sighs> okay, deep breath. Um, let's hear from you, Glyn. Oh, oh, what was your person. word of eight characters? But our word of eight, ours, yeah. Uh, our word of eight is heretics. Heretics. Very good word, yes. It is a word. We don't even need to mm. look that one up. Okay, heretics. Mm. Okay, well, but we are going to find one. out what the others had. So let's start with uh, Ursula. 
Um, what, what was the, what, what did you get? Uh, we had it's secrets. Some... Secrets. Secret. Hmm. Pluralized. You can use both S's. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, indeed, with the other S, indeed, secrets. And Kate, you said you had six characters. I did, but I'm useless. I can't count. I think I've got seven because there's an S on the end. It's sectors. S E C T O R S. Indeed, indeed, it well, is. Kirsten. Right. Well, I have to say, um, we get Kirsten's one. Mm. Kirsten. Kirsten, you're with Kirsten. Sorry, I, I, I missed. Yes, I missed no, it. George, there you are. George came up. George came up with ten. Ten. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm just checking. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is good. Forgive me, it's the, the screen has a kind of carousel of pictures instead of like, you know, like celebrity squares. It's all at the top. So if I don't press the forward button, I don't see who's on it. So apologies. Wow, That's this could be, this, this is getting exciting. Let's bring the prize to Windsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can probably tell that both uh, Fraser and um, also uh, Kirsten have certain Windsor connections here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, have we got a result? Is it going to be ten characters? Yes. Yes, it's ten. Outrageous. It is ten. Perfect. What is it? What, what is, is it? it? <laughs> what, what is it? Okay. <laughs> ter ter terrorists. Terrorists. No. Which perfectly describes Scottish. <laughs> Thanks for Scotties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true, Kate. Well, land sharks was good. <laughs> right. Well, let's just count that one, two, three, four. It's not quite 12. It is, or 10. it is 10 characters. You're absolutely correct. We do have a clear winner, and that is Kirsten. Yeah. Thank you very much. Congratulations. No, no, no. Round of applause. No, not me, George. <laughs> or George, it doesn't matter. You, you, you can't have a package. good Scottish education oh. going on there, you see. It's just... yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. What, what was the 12? What did, yeah, did you, now, you and Fraser come, come up with? Yeah, so well, you, I came up with them. Want to know, well, Esotericists. Esoteric. People who are esoteric in the plural, esotericists. <gasps> That's a good one. Is it, is it is that is a very good one. Yeah. Okay, the He's word I came up He's with. A <laughs> okay, the word that I came up with was herathetics. Herathetics. <gasps> what does that mean, George? Sorry, herathetics. Let's get it right. And before you ask, what does it mean? It's a, it's a very clever one. This, um, given that we've just had a quiz, it actually is the approach to understanding how political actors manipulate the decision-making process so that they can win. Oh. So do you really think, you really think you Trump, you really think that Trump that would understand uh, what an era terrorist is? <laughs> 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 but we'll, we'll yeah. let you have it. 10 characters yeah. it is, well done. So round of applause again, <laughs> fantastic, well done. So on that basis, because um, there wasn't a tie, we're going to we're going to give you the lot so we're going to parcel it up and send it off to you in the morning except, except george i have to confess yep in you know the spirit of of, of um camaraderie we already have scotty dog um chalkboard, chalkboard. so do oh, well, we send that to somebody well, else because that give would be them yeah we, we give do them Kirsten the the book and we could do this the, the, the tiebreaker for the other yeah. to win the, the clock board. Yes. Yes. I know what the tiebreaker is as well. Yeah. And I haven't done a, I haven't done a word for yeah. that myself. So well, we're running out of time, Good. unfortunately. Yeah, we'll yeah, be out of be 40 perfect. minutes in about nine minutes. So um unless Great. you really want to go for it, I'm more than happy to give the prize to the to the next person uh, who was um uh Glyn, wasn't it? Glyn. Glynis. Glyn. Oh, yeah. Well yeah. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. And we've we've got a Scotty chalkboard as well. Oh. I've got two Scotty boards, so don't worry about me. Let's give it to Ursula. Then. Ursula, Ursula, I'm pleading with you. Please yeah. tell me you want it. Please have it. Will you have it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you're a winner. <laughs> you know what? ITV can't make quizzes as good as this one. No. So tell you. No. Okay, so <laughs> Ursula wins. 
the chalkboard and um, chalks as well, a couple of chalks in there. Uh, the book goes, which is the best short stories, Rudyard Kipling goes to Kirsten. So well done, well done both. Well done. Well done, um, well done indeed, that's mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay, well look, that was that was really, really uh, great fun. Uh, thank you very much yeah. for joining us on short notice today. Yeah. So we thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm sorry we didn't make it to Brighton today, but it was no. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, sorry too. To, sorry you weren't there, but it was yeah. it was fun and you you will get to see um and hear what what was what went on in uh, Batemans because we're going to look put the the video up of the uh, the presentation. Yeah. It was actually really quite funny. Um, yeah. And also, uh, you will you'll get to see lots of photos, etc. Um, we're going to be putting most of that out hopefully tonight, but it's going to be a long night for me to do it. So, um, without further ado, thank you very much, and have a great evening. Well, thank, thank you, you very you. much, uh, you. And, and also, <laughs> Ursula. Don't forget to come to the next war because they're really good, Ursula. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can bring your Where husband. Guy, okay. Have yeah. we got a next one date? We don't. Um, the pressure is on Zelda to come up with that one. Um, I think it's going to be in October. I've okay. got an idea of the venue, but it's it's for her to announce it. So I'm, I'm going to wait okay. to, uh, until she's ready. I should be there too, hopefully. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, good. Fantastic. All right. okay. See you all later. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye. 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 Bye.